Welcome to Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the Late Late Show. I'm your host, TV's Craig Ferguson. Please sit down, relax. Put your feet up. Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off first. Get your feet off the table. It's a great day for America, everybody, especially if you're in love. Although, although, isn't every day a, a great day when you're in love? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. It's especially, uh, you know, if you're watching at home and there's no one, you know, with you, Daddy's here. It's all right. All right? <laughs> this, I'm your late night booty call. It's okay. It's going to be okay. That's right. Now you can put your feet up. Now, what? I meant relax. Now, you have to be careful on Valentine's Day, especially the ladies. The ladies, be very careful on, on Valentine's Day. Because if you say happy Valentine's Day to a guy, that guy thinks she wants to sleep with me. It's, so that's what guys think. Happy Valentine's Day, she wants to sleep with me. Guys think that about everything, though. Guys, if you say to a guy, happy President's Day, guy thinks... Guy thinks... Guy thinks... She wants the executive branch. That's what, that's what a guy thinks. Ha <laughs> ha! Ding ding! You know, I should have a band for moments like that. On this budget. <laughs> well, a guy with a harmonica or something. I mean, we'll, we'll get it. Now, Valentine's Day, very, very popular day. Everybody wants to be it. The Valentine's Day uh, mascot is uh, Cupid, of course. The, uh, the naked flying baby. <laughs> Who's armed. The armed naked flying baby. Who shoots arrows into people's hearts to make them fall in love. <laughs> Somebody's on acid with this stuff. Huh? I don't think that's romantic at all. You know, that's, a, that's a, you know, the, the, the arrow of love through the heart. That's like assault with a deadly weapon. That's, that's, uh, that's weaponized Viagra is what that is. Now listen, I, at my son's school, I took my son to school this morning. At his school, it's a requirement that all the kids get Valentines from each other. I had to make 14 or uh, 18 Valentines last night. Now, that wasn't uh, the case when I was a boy. When I was at school, there was only one person in class who got all of the Valentines. One person. 26 Valentines to Don Harrison. <laughs> I know you don't know her, but Don, if you're watching in Scotland, which is impossible, but if you are... <laughs> I know that you're married now with five kids and, and, you know, and you get on well with your husband and you've been married for 20 years, but I'm still available if it all falls apart. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Don Harrison doesn't have five kids. Anyway, back, back, back then in the day, I would only get one Valentine when I was at school. I was a tubby kid. The tubby kid doesn't get... You know, my nickname at school was Tubby. That's a clue. I was tubby, I was a tubby, I was a fat kid. And, and I used to be, you know, I would get a valentine every year and it would be signed, from your secret admirer, <laughs> Mum. <laughs> so, it's always, it's, a, it's a, that horrible deflating moment when you recognise your mother's handwriting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I like the, I like the secret valentine, the, an, the, the anonymity, the, you know, the secret secret admirer thing. That's what, I, that's what I want. I want a Valentine from a secret admirer. All this new Valentine stuff, you know, uh, happy Valentine's Day from your CBS family. I don't need that crap. <laughs> what do I care if CBS sends me a Valentine card? Look, I'm spitting. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> My teeth are shaking loose with rage. But I like the secret Valentine. I like it because you get excited when you, when you were a, a teenager, especially. You get the, the secret Valentine, you know, from your secret admirer, and then you can fantasize who it's from. You know, you th I used to find it, I was like, my God, how did Bo Derek get my address? How did she get it? How did Bo Derek find me in Scotland? That crazy stalking bitch. How did she find me? I... Me, now listen, I am no expert on Valentine's Day. Don't come to me for advice. I've been divorced twice. So, so, oh, funny to you, ha ha. <laughs> and you know what, it's kind of funny to me too. Expensive getting divorced, it's very expensive getting divorced. Worth it, but expensive. 
<laughs> no, I, well, I don't come to me. I've been divorced twice. I, I'm not an expert in romance. Whatever I did on uh, Valentine's Day was apparently wrong. <laughs> I don't know why. I always sent flowers and candy. I always sent flowers and candy. But when your wife finds out, that's when the trouble starts. <laughs> It's a joke. It's it's a joke. I didn't do that. It's a joke. Sometimes I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The worst Valentine's Day I ever had was just after my last divorce. And I mean my last divorce, not my last divorce until the next one. I mean my la the last one. Just after I go for dinner with my agent. Um... And uh, he wanted to discuss some movie project or something. In the middle of dinner, we look around this restaurant and surrounded by people kind of love birds, all cooing, looking at each other. And we're two guys deep in conversation in the restaurant. I felt very awkward at that moment. But he was my agent, so I 